man. It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. Everybody Podcast, man. Episode 53, dog. Open up the new year, man. We got motherfucking legend in the building. Legendary group and shit, man. Mm-hmm. My boy, dope boy Dre, man. What up, dog? What's what good up, with dog? you, bro? What up, dog, man? Appreciate, Appreciate you coming on the show, hey, man. man. Appreciate you having me on here, man. Hell yeah, man. Good way to open up the year and shit, man. Let's get Talk it. some shit. It's 2021. We nobody got the corona. And <laughs> <laughs> we all smooth. We breathing. We healthy, dog. Everybody in <laughs> your family good from that shit, though? Yeah, everybody good, man. We had some close calls, but yeah. Everybody was, good. Was there a time you thought you had that shit, bro? Like, I mean, even if I did have it, bro, I wasn't about to go get that test, bro. They sticking that bitch all the way up your nose. No, but they changed that shit, dog. Like, they for real, my, certain places, my wife had to get that shit for but she was so had crazy. Baby. My brother, uh, he in the hospital and shit. Yeah. And that's what the lady was telling us. Like, that's the way that mm. they know that you got it mm. by sticking it all the way up. Yeah, then your brain. brain. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That shit scary as hell, dog. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. I thought I had that shit one time, nigga. I'm in that bitch paranoid as fuck. Like, damn, I got diarrhea. Like, this bitch Corona. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I'm praying to God at work, dog. Like, fuck, man. <laughs> Leah's feeling weak. I'm in this bitch drinking tea, nigga. I'm orange juice. I'm breathing over the motherfucking bull water. Like, oh, yeah, I did that too. <laughs> For the beginning, I did that with the orange peel. Hell yeah, <laughs> My OG had me doing that. I'm like, yeah, dude. Get your yeah. immune system. But you know, I ain't gonna lie what's so crazy. Because last year, I ain't eat no pork or no red meat Straight all up. year, so that was like yeah. my first year in my life ever doing that. And Did like, you feel good though? Hell yeah, I feel amazing. Man. And um, my brother, like we was building our immune system up before COVID because mm-hmm. he had got sick and shit like in January. So before that shit, we was already on our healthy Hell shit. Yeah. So it was kind of a blessing. You still doing that shit though? Hell yeah. Damn, he said no, uh, no pork and no, no red pork, meat. No pork and no red meat. Man. Man. It be hard, dog. I love ham, dog. Man, I love, look, I love ribs. I love pepperoni. Hell I went from eating poor pepperoni to vegetarian pieces, Damn. Dog. I told like my... All veggies. Shout that my shit boy, good, though. Yeah, shout out my boy Weezy. I said, that nigga made piece of boring, uh. Nigga don't eat nothing. Like, damn, yeah. good. The yeah. most I might put on there is, like, chicken. Yeah. You know what that mean? should be good as hell, though, dog. But shit, man, we always start off, dog, with some positive shit, man. Uh, something we call salute me while I'm here. Okay. A lot of times we, we be waiting for niggas to pass away and be like, oh, yeah, I love you or I love her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And shit like that, dog. But the only thing about it is try to think outside the box. Don't do what the normal sh- niggas do, like mm-hmm. mom, dad, brother, sister, if you got kids and shit, dog. Somebody outside of that. Okay. You got somebody in mind? I mean... If you yeah, would. I mean, really, just my team, man. Shout out to the mob, man. DBC yeah. for life, man. And then my brother, man. Shout out to my brother, cause you know he going through a lot right now. He been having a battle with cancer, so yeah. I just shout out to him. You feel me? Like yeah. that's my biggest supporter, motivator right now. So for sure. you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my babies, man. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna give a shout out to uh. My cousin-in-law, man. My cousin by marriage, dog. Uh, Maurice Elrod. Okay. Uh, good dude, man. He been uh, married to my uh, to my cousin for a minute, dog. I want to say, shit, had to be like goddamn 2002, 2001. Mm-hmm. Like they one of the, one of the couples, first couples I seen get married. You know, what I'm saying they early twenties. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so beautiful. I'm gonna shout him out, man. He used to work for N1. I used to get all the free N1 shoes oh, back yeah. in the day, yeah. dog. You, you know, say what hot saying? sauce. Hell, dog, we was hooping with them. My little me, and little bro, dog. Hot sauce professor. Uh, rest in peace, Escalade, dog. Man, Escalade. Ayo, dog. all them niggas, dog. Uh, what's the nigga? Ali, Ali, Ali Mo. Like, Ali dog. Mo. That's when motherfucking. What's you... the one nigga? White chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. See, he wasn't really with the team, but he be fucked with them. He was like affiliated, dog. Remember, he had won the little competition shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then, man, and then you had, uh, my man, the one dude who was in the league, Ray for Austin. Skip oh, yeah, Ray for Austin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, shout him out, dog. Shout I used out to, to all the boys. Man. I used to get me some, um, they sample sizes was a size nine. It was my size. Oh, yeah. I'd be coming home with like eight pair of motherfucking N ones, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Chelsea Billups that sound with them niggas and everything, yeah, dog. Yeah, they had a movement, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Well, shit, man, it's, it's 2021, dog. Last year, man, well, give me some highs and some lows of 2020, dog. Man. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like everybody, the year was kind of, kind of like, you know, because we ain't expect like a real pandemic. Like my even my OG says she never witnessed no shit like yeah, this, yeah. and she in her fifties. So yeah, yeah. It was definitely a challenging year, but you know, just adjust it, man, and yeah. just make the best out of it. Like me personally, I did a lot of like, like self reflecting and getting my shit together. Like a nigga that finally got his license and shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, strong hey, business. Niggas, be, yeah, niggas yeah. don't be having no license, dog. Hell yeah, I'm about to get my CCW. I ain't about to be playing. Like, Hell no. Like, my felony been over 10 years, so. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I can go ahead, go get my CC dub. So that was my, I, that's what I did for 2020. Just yeah. like, it's like, fuck, I'm about to get all my priorities in order. For sure. You feel me? Hell yeah, because, dog, hey, it's never too late to get that shit right for real, dog. Yeah, no. Because one thing I was just talking to with this young dude at my job, like, nigga, like, credit niggas don't be oh man nigga, you sleep on that shit when you young dog like, man because we ain't we don't know about it because our people ain't tell us about it that's like just be like them other like you know yeah. jewish and white people and, yeah you know they they list that in their kids like yeah. ooh, financial stability hell yeah and like, you being that bitch 10 years old bad credit because your mind put that shit on the cable bill <laughs> hell yeah your shit be, og didn't put dte in your yeah. shit all type of shit hell yeah nigga, you turn 18 you get an apartment like hold on i got bad credit like Nigga, I ain't did shit. Like, hey, but what's so crazy? Back to that credit shit, man. That's definitely the move, though. Like, yeah. I suggest everybody who doing like, you need to do that. Like, yeah. even open up your own business, get an open a business credit line. Like, they Hell be yeah. giving loans out. You can get cribs. Sure. Hell yeah. Jewelry, Hell car, yeah. all that off of credit. Hell like, yeah. niggas don't be knowing it. And like I said, like you said, like the other races, they be have fucked up credit, but they be going and, yeah. and getting approved off their business credit. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, hey, shit, that's A1. The, that's, that's the American way. Man, hell yeah, for sure, American for sure, dog. American way. Hell yeah. Well, man, tell me how it was, dog, growing up as a motherfucking young Dre, dog. Like, how was your household, dog, your siblings, mom, dad? Like, how was it man, when you grew up at? You feel me? You know, I come from West Side, man, mm -hmm. Linwood, yeah. and Atkinson between 14th and LaSalle. Okay. So, you know, my great granny Cree, rest in peace, my granny Pearl. Yeah. You know, I ain't never had no old dude, so mm -hmm. I was raised really by, like, OGs like my yeah. granny yeah. and my auntie, my OG, they gangster, they smoke weed, they beat niggas ass. <laughs> so I was just raised by all of them, and um, it was just great, man. Yeah. Like, I had a great childhood, like yeah. just everybody used to be at my granny crib. So I had all my cousins and all my niggas from the neighborhood. Yeah. So it was a great neighborhood. Duh. I ain't gonna lie, I had a great childhood. Duh, but that's some shit that me and um my last guest, dog Detroit Diamond, was talking about, like. Nigga, Grandma Creek was always a spot, though. Grandma Creek. Like, that's when you're going to see everybody at Uncle everybody. You ain't seen, nigga, that like, drunk ass. That uncle, really be like, like that. That really be the headquarters, yeah. bro. Yeah. And Hell then yeah. when people start dying, you start to see, like, yeah. damn, that shit don't be the same. I'm yeah. like, Christmas this year compared to, like, maybe Christmas 10 years ago. Yeah, like, trash. it just ain't the same. Yeah, because you know, Grandma, dog, because my grandma said, rest in peace, dog, on Springfield, man, east side, we was, uh, Shit, you'll go do your lame shit with your lame family first. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then everybody gonna go to Grandma Crib. Right, right, right. <laughs> Say the best for the last. Yeah. About bro. 7 8 o'clock, you're gonna see niggas arguing, niggas drunk, might have a scrap, nigga. But that would be at the <laughs> hypest Christmas. Like, it wasn't no gifts, it was just like that that, that, that family, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like that you say, once, once Grandma passed away, it's like. Niggas start doing their own shit. Hell yeah. Niggas say, stay fucked the motherfucking uh, holidays, man. That shit be fucked up. Everybody doing their own thing, starting their own families and stuff. Hell yeah. God damn. Grandma crib, nigga. Get the Granny good, crib. The good collard greens. You motherfucking uh, nasty ass chitlins getting cooked yeah. up, nigga. Like, you say, real. got the house banged. You know, <laughs> Hell yeah. Bitch. Hell yeah, for sure. But well, shit, man, in school, like, though, how was you in school, man? Would you, like, some? you had like, aspirations in sports? Like, how would you as a student, dog? I mean... I say probably the early years, like maybe elementary, middle school, nigga was like, I'm probably like on the road, like fourth grade. I ain't got on the honor road since then. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Like a nigga just was like, because I, man, I met Keith in fourth grade. I met yeah. my man Freddie K. Yeah. My nigga Wee, Free Wee. I met all of them, so we was bad as hell, man. Them <laughs> niggas was really bad influence on my life. Uh, <laughs> and, um, man, we all graduated, man. Yeah. We ended up going to Southwell. Keith ended up going to South Hill with yeah. me. And I met Rod, man, Pay. Yeah. Man, B. Smith, everybody. So yeah. it was just like, it was fun, man. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. It yeah, was we, fun. Uh. Cause nigga, I remember in school, like, nigga, you would try hard for like that first week. Hell yeah. Like, and it was like, we weren't really, <laughs> like, I ain't really was, like, we was just hooping and playing football in the hood, like, yeah. two hand touch, tackle yeah. on the grass, tackle like, grass, shit, like that, yeah. hooping in the alley. But yeah. I ain't never really wanted, like, Play no sports and nothing like that. You yeah, feel me? I just was like, could you hoop though? Like, like, yeah, I could, boy. Yeah. I was athletic for sure, cause that's how my hood was. We yeah. was competitive. We yeah. competing with the neighbors, next door yeah, kids, yeah. and all that. So it was definitely competitive. 
Yeah, but yeah. I was more or less just wanted to be crispy. No, it's funny you say Fuck that shit, dog. Because I say that shit all the time. West Side motherfuckers be crispy and take the garbage out. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas up to the garbage, nigga, crispy, nigga, got a chain on, motherfucking gays and shit, nigga, <laughs> just to take the trash out. Hey, dog. look, what's so crazy, dog? Me and my man's Kern, dude. Shout out to my Finkel niggas, dog. Yeah. We were just talking about it, like, dog, I love my East Side niggas. Like, y'all some real, some real hustlers. Yeah. And get that money, dog. But it's so crazy how we are from the same city. Dog, and be different. But it's different. Yeah. Like, y'all was, like, really brought up different from how we yeah. was brought up. Yeah, yeah. Cause I used to love being on the West Side, dog. My uncle stayed on uh, school crab off of Schaefer. Oh, yeah. And we used to be hoping, dog, because it'd be this church and that. At nighttime, they had lights on. Oh, yeah. And we'd be hoping, nigga, like, 3, 4 in the morning, dog. And it was like... West Side always had the baddest chicks too. Yeah, That's one thing I have to say. Yeah. Like they be bad, or, like they be undercover rats mm. on the West Side. East Side, you just see that like, she all out there rat. Mm -hmm. Like got the bonnet on, nigga. Got the pajama pants. Mm -hmm. Like damn, she ain't trying to hide the ratness in there. Ain't like, trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, they had some East Side babies though. <laughs> Y'all got some good babies over here, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. And they seem like the like. It seemed like they didn't bossed up. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. they all independent now. Hell, yeah. I'm going peep the couple, like, bosses over here on yeah, the east side women. Like, sure. got businesses and doing yeah. their thing. But it do be like, nigga, you, get, you know when you, when you pass uh, Woodward. Like, you just know you're on the west side. Like, mm -hmm. shit started changing, more houses. Oh, yeah. Y'all got a lot of beer supplies, too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of beer supplies and chicken spots, though. Oh, yeah, like, hell. <laughs> over here, you be trying to struggle to find a restaurant. Like, damn. West side, you just go outside. It's but y'all really got the best food spot. Like, I fuck with, shout out to Hash Brown Cafe. I fuck with them. Yeah, that's what I gotta get. Hey, I gotta get yeah, you I ain't fuck with No, I gotta Brown? get hip. It's on, what's that, Conant? Mm hmm. Like, right next to the old, what's that? Erotic City or something like that? Yeah, uh, Erotic City. Mm. Goddamn. That's the first strip club I went to. Oh, uh, straight up. The Come first on, one we went to was, uh, 007. No, yo, I'm lying. I went, 007 was the first one I went to, too. Mm -hmm. Little bro. Uh, God rest my mom's soul, dog. We went to the strip club. This nigga 16, that bitch getting danced on. And then that's my uncle. Like, dog, I know he fucking the way he can, <laughs> the way he can that dance. That nigga was that bitch get, join his motherfucking self, dog. That's classy, man. Hell Sorry yeah. to hear that about your bro, too, man. Oh, no, no, no. That's all good. That's all good. But shit, man. So you say you say you was on, on the road in fourth grade. You said, nigga, I'm man, just going to After that, I was just <laughs> crispy. You feel me? Just crispy. Doing yeah. my thing. As yeah. long as I just passed, man. Yeah. So all y'all. I wasn't was no felon, nigga. Just no dummy. Yeah, yeah, but you was getting by. Yeah, like I graduated and everything with yeah. a diploma and everything. Hell, yeah, you ain't you think about college afterwards? Like, was that in the picture? Or you, like, Man, I ain't gonna lie to be honest, because like I said once again, like, I ain't come from, like, no rich family like that, so. For sure. And I went into school, so mm -hmm. I ain't had, like, no scholarships or nothing. And then I ain't want to. Go to school and be taking out loans yeah, and still yeah. be on loans. Like, I be seeing niggas be Man, going struggling. to college and graduating and still be in debt. Then yeah, yeah. 80000 Oh, like, hell no. Or they got I a degree. They got a degree and they, they work Instead, at Full Locker. Exactly. Nigga, like, I can't. You, you know got what this good-ass degree. That bitch just collected dust at grandma crib. Man, nigga. <laughs> I mean, it's good to have it, you know, yeah. your credentials, but... It seemed like they make it harder and harder for black people, especially Man. not like doing their degree ain't even shit no yeah. more for real. Hell yeah, yeah, you know that's what, what I say right now, nigga. YouTube University probably the best university Man, to go that's to. That's the best too. <laughs> Hell yeah, you look up anything like goddamn, I'm itching on my right side. Dog, you independent, bro. <laughs> you you gotta be your. It's, they making it away, especially with this internet shit, for you mm -hmm. to be your own boss. Bro. Yeah. Now you uh you say you know you grew up without uh, a father for real. Like you think if your if if if, you, if your pops was around, shit would be a little different, or you think like. Yeah, for sure. I know it'd be different. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like I'm still blessed because I, I came out a good man. I, for sure. I done accomplished a lot of stuff in my life. Hell yeah, you hell yeah, me? for sure. It just would have just, you know, I think every nigga just be feeling that way. Like, you know, like I see my mans in them with they pops and yeah. they out the clubs fucking with hoes <laughs> and drinking. <laughs> I just be really missing that feeling. Like, damn, yeah. I wish I could have took a shot with no, my boss don't smoke a wood, my yeah. bro. But he ain't smoke or drink. You yeah. feel me? My yeah. dude got killed when he was like 24. Oh, shit, You know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he was really getting to it. You know how that shit hell was. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Them early 90s, late hell 80s. Yeah, hell yeah. Everybody was getting money. Hell yeah, doing whatever it is. Mm -hmm. it is whatever it takes, dog. But shit, man, with the, uh, you know, you said you went to uh, South Hill High? Yeah, South Hill is High. That, is, that, is that where you met everybody at, though? Yes, like, sir. As as your, your I met my nigga Kern, man, in there, bitch. We used to be down there, bitch, going crazy. <laughs> the, bitch. Now, didn't you, uh, what's that go, go there with y'all, too? Uh, DJ BJ? Yeah, DJ BJ, shout out my baby BJ. Yeah, I remember him, um, I heard something he mentioned, like, that's how he started fucking with y'all back yeah. then. 
We can, we actually when we started doing music shit, we got B J on one of the songs, man. He, so he funny. He was spit. <laughs> That's probably like the only time he like rap too. Bro. Yeah. It's so funny. Hell no. He's like B J. So shit, man. When when was it that you guys you know saying serious with music? Was it when was it when you met them or was it like before that? It was kind of before that, cause like my niggas from my hood, like my cousins and shit, they was doing the music. Mm -hmm. Like what's so crazy? We had like a whole setup, like. Nigga, we had my man we were recording his closet. He had a closet. We yeah, recorded. Had a closet, dog. Man <laughs> bought the mic. And we didn't pay his granny to use her credit card to buy the program yeah, that we were yeah, yeah. recording. So <laughs> and that was like maybe I was like ninth grade, but yeah. my uncle, he was like in a rap group called oh. Triplex. Okay. Like back in the day. Yeah. And I used to go down there with my cousin Josie and shit, free my cousin Jones, man. He'd be out. But We'd go down to Atlanta and see his pops like yeah. every summer, like when we was nine. Yeah. And this nigga used to be just all so weird, shit. Like, damn, uncle, what you want? Like, <laughs> he'd just be like, all right, make a rap. And yeah. then I'm gonna come back in an hour and y'all gotta rap it to me or y'all don't do it. Y'all can't go outside. And I'm just like, damn, I could have stayed in the city, y'all okay? yeah. I'm trying to go outside and play, but it kind of was a. Bless him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's definitely been so yeah. to my uh, Josie Wills for that. Too. Yeah, yeah. So shit, man. You you know you grew up in Detroit, dog. Of course you got some Detroit. Uh, you know, saying inspiration and shit. Like, if if you can, dog. But you know, back then, who like or just period, dog. Who who's your top? If you had to do a top five, cause we do a lot of top five, top three on the show. Mm -hmm. Top five Detroit rappers, dog. Uh, all time or just all time? Like, come on now, all time. All the time. Yeah, or just niggas you fuck with though. Like, it ain't even gotta be no top five. It could be. I mean, I ain't gonna say, cause I fuck with everybody. That's what I'm saying. I ain't really got no favorite. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of music, so yeah. I listen to all genres, all everybody. But yeah, because yeah, yeah. I. Me, personally, mm -hmm. of course, I would say, for sure, the Great Lake Ruler. Oh, yeah, for sure. I gotta Hell say, yeah. Great Lake Ruler. Hell yeah. Man, I'll probably say. I gotta say, I gotta say, Big Hurt, cause he from yeah. come from my world. Dog, dog. We heavy you know, nigga, I thought you know Big Hurt was from the East Side for the longest. Uh, cause that's why. <laughs> but what's so crazy? That's what niggas be like. Niggas be coming at me like, damn, Dre, you act like you a East Side nigga. Like <laughs> niggas be saying I'm a East Side. Like, cause really, Linwood is like right there by yeah. Davis. Yeah, so like, so it's like right there. Be, yeah. yeah, you feel me? But and you know, we just hustlers over there, bitch. For we sure, money. Hell but yeah. I probably say Blade, Big Hurt, um. For sure, I'll say my nigga Rock, dog. Yeah. You feel me? Gotta For say sure. Rock, Long Live Rock. Sure, rest in peace. Um, damn, that's a good question. Yeah, I, I want to pick somebody like a young nigga that's oh, all yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, that you fuck with. I'm trying to think. Like, who I really be. Because uh, that's the. When I first got hip to Detroit uh, rap, dog, because I was like, let me see, 10th grade. That's when Rock Bottom was was, was around. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, who the fuck is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I never really heard mu music from the niggas yeah. from the city. Yeah. And then I'm like, dog, that's my boy Red's. Like, nigga, that's, that's Rock Bottom. Like, that's Big Hurt. Like, like damn, that nigga sound cold. Like, I remember that line, wait till Jay Nutty get out. Nah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Told so I told y'all niggas. Hell yeah, nigga. So I'm like, nigga, no, that's just... And that's when I started, like, started paying attention. Like, nigga, that's when we had the Cheddar Boys. And that's what I'm saying. I'm going to say, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do street. I'm going to do, look, can I do. I want to do Blade, Rock, no, I want to do Blade, Big Hurt, yeah. Rock, and I would probably say the Cheddar Boys, yeah. and probably Street Lord, because they no. was a group, they yeah, were yeah. groups, and they uh, were so talented. Remember that, uh, that rap station used to be on um, Seven Miles to uh, yeah, Seven Bellano. Miles to Bellano. Hell yeah, dog. Pirelli, shout out they, to Pirelli. They had that one song, that, uh, I mean, I, every time I think about that, I think about um, DZ and motherfucking Wine, dog, that count my dog. Oh money. yeah, I was about to say that. Why? I would say why to me is the coldest of the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Like he put me in his own like rock, that's why I said rock. Like yeah. I was just was saying, banging rock last take that rock versus Bell Boy. You get yeah. a 10, go back and just... He on that bitch's wordplay. He's just his storytelling. Yeah, hell yeah. He is a motherfucker. Like, dog, of course, like, that shit, you know what I'm saying, affected y'all because that's y'all homie. But did, like, his passing kind of, like, did it slow up the music? Like, you know what I'm saying? Did it ever make you think, like, man, I'm a, I'm not fucking with this music? Because sometimes when you lose somebody, you can lose your, your, your inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Especially somebody you fuck with heavy, family or friend. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Especially the type of nigga I am, cause you know that was just my biggest motivator. He'd be like, "Dre, you procrastinate." He thought I was just the sweetest nigga in the world. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, that shit, like, damn, like especially nigga coming from a group. Mm -hmm. Like it only be feeling the same, but 
Hey, we've been working on the rock tape since he passed. That was 2017. Yeah. We just was in there last week yeah. finishing it up with shout out to hell of a yeah he didn't bless us on that bitch that bitch about to be heat but hell yeah i was gonna ask you about that shit it too. took us down there three <laughs> years you feel yeah. me because we just i ain't gonna lie though i wasn't feeling it bro yeah. it just ain't feel the same i ain't yeah. want to do it without my brother no more yeah but at the end of the day hell yeah man he got an og he got a son shout out to little rock hell he yeah. got a brother and we got just, I just want, feel like we got to keep our brother name alive, man. Keep Hell that legacy. Sure. Hell yeah. So, shit, man. Hey, you ain't talked about it, dog. When that shit dropping, dog. Because uh, I hear dog. I see dog shaking head. Like, already know, dog. Oh, man, yeah, that bitch, <laughs> oh, yeah. We got some shit, man. Really, yeah. this the first time. I guess I've really done really well. Said something about it. Like, it's on its way. It's, it should be on man, its way. It's, it's only right that you say that shit on the motherfucking shower. Uh, <laughs> it's on its way, though. But it's, uh, we got a couple surprises on there, too, man. We got, yeah. uh. Like I said, hell of a did the production for sure. We got payroll. Yeah. We got the whole crew. We got some rock on there. Oh, yeah, some old shit. They yeah. Eat. Yeah. yeah hell we yeah. got a couple um other like Detroit producers on there and yeah. everything. Man, yeah. that bitch gonna be dope. No, I think the first time about I, to be dope. For I think sure. the first time I heard a hell of a beat was probably on that free ride. Mm -hmm. Like for real, I pay attention to. Yeah, hell of a man. That nigga. I know you've been man. doing it for a minute. Legendary I remember, man. Before him, I remember uh, what's name was out here heavy. A uh, kid. Kid, kid, shout yeah. out to kid too. You know he used to do all the street lore shit. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Well, shit, with y'all like, so did y'all all meet? Like, was it like, all right, bet this the squad, or did like, was like you and Pay met first, or you and such as met first, or it was like, like I said, we all went there ninth grade. Mm -hmm. Me and Pay had um, <laughs> Mr. Coke class. This white nigga dog, he used to be so <laughs> mean dog, but he was cool though. He didn't yeah. act the black. Hell yeah. <laughs> Then we used to be in that bitch just playing, failing. And what's so crazy, Pay used to let me hear his music back then. Like, look, this is yeah. him. It used to be like him, Kid, Chaz, they on that bitch. I used to be like, man, this shit sweet as hell. Mm -hmm. But like, we kind of got together, yeah. like, off of that. Like, like I told you, me and Keith already knew each other. And, like, yeah. we had met up. And then, like, Pay ended up going, like, to Old Park, like, 10th grade. Yeah. So we used to be going up to Old Park. We already knew Pay. So he introduced us, like, to Chaz. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kid, Quincy, uh, my nigga Wayne. So it was just, we like, damn, these niggas crispy. We crispy. So <laughs> fuck it. We about to go crazy in there. And at the time, yeah. niggas was hating on them. And they was yeah. like, Niggas loved us, but they was hating on us too. Yeah, so you feel sure. me? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga said, we all crispy in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We gonna look up. Let's get it. And go right. crazy. Yeah, and it yeah. just came. I ain't gonna lie, dog. It seemed like it came. Like, God, then it put that shit together. Because, dog, we did some shit, man. Hell yeah. We had never thought. Like, we ain't never think like we was gonna get a deal. We was just doing it. Yeah, just yeah. Doing fun. for love, have fun. Like, how niggas just want a deal. Like, niggas, yeah. everybody. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm about to get Because I was gonna ask you, like, was it ever, like, was it ever, y'all was ever rapping like to get a deal or just like y'all was just putting music out? We just do it and having fun, man. Yeah. That's what, it, that's what it, you create the best music yeah, when it's fun. Yeah, Cause sure. what you all supposed trying to get a deal and try to, it be too serious. Hell yeah. It trying be to be fun cause you hit. trying to, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. But I mean, I always want to ask this question, dog. Who the fuck came up with the hook to our dog hoes? I dog hoes, not just one, but all hoes. Y'all hoes, only thing I love is all pros. I don't give a fuck if they think or small hoes. She can be a virgin, you heard it, I dog hoes. I dog hoes, I dog hoes. I dog hoes, I dog hoes. I dog hoes, I dog hoes. I dog hoes. Cause so crazy. Dog, the dog and that bitch was a hit was so crazy the song was so vulgar and fucked up the hoes look like girl i ain't gonna say hoes yeah. queens but it is some hoes too oh but yeah for sure hell yeah they gravitated to it. Duh. Like, I ain't think they was going to like it. Because yeah. I really was supposed to be on the song. I be bullshit. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I ain't go to the studio. I don't know <laughs> what I was doing. Playing. Yeah. But, man, that bitch came out to a hit. Like, we really supposed to have did a remix with Big Shine and everything. For sure, for real. Hell Damn. yeah. Hold on, when you heard it, like, because that bitch... 
I dog hoes is that it's like you got those songs that you know bitches about to throw ass to. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I dog hoes. Uh, uh, um, that Jeezy. Uh, I'm gonna throw his cash, bitch. That shit. I would love this. Yeah, Juve, uh, Juvie, bad. That you know when the songs come on, nigga, and like that song, nigga, you got her, but you gonna be pissing, nigga, and gonna run out that bitch like and grab a hoe, nigga. That bitch, <laughs> ass, dog. That's what, <laughs> hey, what's so funny? I was just saying that to myself, like, dog, our old shit still get looked. No, hell like, yeah. Like our old shit be better than some niggas new shit. No, dog, hell yeah. Dog. So, so nigga, do you when you see the response, where you like, man, I, I'm bullshit. I should hurt. I should got on that bitch. I was wounded. I ain't get on that. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was a banger forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic, but niggas did. You see my nigga Rock put me in there. If I ain't hit your bitch, they trade it. If yeah. I ain't hit the fade it, no. he ain't lying. Hell yeah, them niggas went in. I, I dog hoes, not just one, but all hoes. <laughs> niggas, oh shit, hold cut. Hey, hold up, drink. Nigga, I'm about to go get this motherfucking dance floor real quick. Hell dog. yeah, that bitch hell, was classic. Hell yeah, dog. It was classic for sure. Hey, man, another question I wanted to ask, dog. I remember I was thinking I was in Texas at the time. When niggas was saying that uh Soldier Boy had stole motherfucking kid flow, dog. What's up, crazy? That, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a good on that good ass day. Good -ass day. Yeah. You know Soldier motherfucker, man. Yeah. I was just telling uh I had an interview uh with the last podcast and yeah. they was asked about that. Talking about soldier ass, but that was just good cause you yeah. know, for so long niggas was Detroit got the talent, bro. Yeah, yeah, we sure. Motown, bro. Yeah, yeah. The trendy and every see everybody wearing glass, Cardi yeah, yeah. and I wearing bus. Hell we yeah. started that, yeah, bro. Sure. Detroit right started now. that. And for so long we had slept on mm -hmm. and niggas was stealing our style and stealing everything from yeah, us. Yeah, but yeah. now this bitch on fire. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They can't yeah. do that shit no more. For sure. And you know, you say Big Sean supposed to be on remix. He always shout y'all niggas out. Man, hell from, yeah, from Big Sean. Street. Shout out to Sean. He a real nigga. Yeah, from Jump real Street, nigga. though. That's bro. That's it. He love. say most niggas say Eminem they favorite rapper from the Detroit. These niggas always say Big Sean. Like Man, no And like, it's no disrespect to Eminem, dog. It's no disrespect at all. But the only thing about Eminem, of course he can rap. Of course he got bars. Of course he can flow. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I feel like, you know how like old rappers you got a lot of playback value on like Jay Z or Nas. Like with his stuff, it's never like no playback for me. I fuck him. Yeah. I respect him. But I it's just never like that. Marshall Matters. That's, 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 that's the best. That's the best album. That's the best album. But this why I would, and I would just say that from a, from a Detroit perspective, and I feel like this how everybody might feel. Mm -hmm. Like the people we talking about, we didn't see. Cheddar Boys and Street Lords, Blade, Wine, mm -hmm. Hurt, even the new niggas around here, Bezo mm -hmm. and Sada Baby. You feel me? All the new talent, new energy. Hell yeah. Nobody never really seen it. Yeah, you just knew it. You know what yeah, I'm you just like, kind of heard. Nobody never seen them. Yeah. Even other recipes proof. You used to see proof at St. Yeah. Andrews. You used to run that. Nigga, all proof. Time. Get that. <laughs> Keep that my ties, didn't he? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Real east side shit. <laughs> hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, rest in peace. Like, niggas never seen him, man. Yeah. That's why I think that a lot so of niggas times. gotta see him, bro. Yeah. He gotta come through. Yeah. It's only right. Yeah, like I said, it's no disrespect. You respect him as a lyricist. You know he can rap. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, like I said, when you say your top five or anybody else, you always gonna mention the niggas from the city. That I seen, man. Yeah. That's really good. They was yeah. neighborhood heroes. Hell bro. yeah. Helping For the community sure. and giving people motivation. Hell you know yeah. Hell yeah, dog. So shit, man, when y'all uh go back a little bit, you know what I'm saying, before the uh before the uh, whole blow up and shit, dog, like tell me at the time your first time in the studio, because a lot of times you could you can write a rap mm -hmm. and that shit sound good, but when you record it that shit sound terrible. Like yeah. tell me your first time in the studio, like how good or bad was it? I mean you always I feel like any artist you be always just critique yourself and you be your biggest critic. Mm -hmm. So for me, I like I said, I always did it. To me, I be like, I do some shit and be like, then they're like, all right, that shit's straight. And he's like, man, that shit's sweet as hell. But to me, I be like, man, that shit all right. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. But you be your biggest critic. Yeah, you yeah, feel sure. me? What you don't like, other yeah. people down there be like it. Just yeah, like yeah. Dog hoes that yeah. we thinking that motherfucker like damn they ain't gonna like it yeah. and they loved it man you know for sure saying, so. hell yeah that shit. Like I said, that's a motherfucking that's that's a nigga. You can play a bitch in twenty twenty nine, nigga. Yeah, nigga, yeah, that nigga gonna go crazy. Nigga, three thousand, they gonna be playing a bitch in the club, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and nigga gonna be in space throwing that ass. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you a silly nigga. <laughs> For sure, hell yeah. No, and then see, I forgot. I'm mad that I forgot to ask you this question because I asked everybody this question. A lot of times when it comes to music, dog, we got our influences from our OGs or whatever, dog. Like, mm -hmm. who was the motherfuckers you was hearing based off what your mom was playing? That you was like liking it because you ain't had no taste for music yourself. I mean, like, see, a lot of niggas don't know this about me, but you know, my grandpa, he was in the group. Like, mm -hmm. Back in the day, they had to deal with Motown. Okay. They called Enchantment. 
Yeah. They had a song called Gloria, yeah, yeah, yeah. My Sunshine. So I kind of like, or my family kind of like was already in fucking with the music. Yeah. And then my uncle, it was just like, I kind of looked up to them, man. I just yeah. never, I ain't never knew that, that I was going to be doing music. Yeah, you feel yeah, sure, yeah. Like, I never knew that, but I'm kind of blessed that I come from the family and did. Yeah. My friends do it. Like, Pay so talented. Like, people don't even know. Like, he did all our beats from I all our that, tapes. Yeah. Even, like, we still doing solo shit, and he still doing shit. Beats you know what I'm yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Pay is so talented. Yeah. I don't even be thinking he know how talented he is. Yeah, like, for sure. Hell to yeah. To produce and rap. Like, Hell yeah. Hell yeah! That's a dog I remember I saw, I saw him at my job and shit. I ain't gonna say I work it because I hate the job and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I was about, I seen him. I'm like, dog, I should ask nigga on a podcast. But I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna say shit. I was gonna say what up? Like, what up, cuz you good? He would have did right. it, man. Pay <laughs> humble, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah, he did this uh, track with my my boy. Shout out my boy Easy Fresh. They okay. did a song called Shaq and Kobe. Okay. That shit cold, dog. Check that shit out, dog. Oh, Easy yeah, Fresh. Check it out. Hell yeah, shit cold, dog. And then another thing, dog. I got I got from my cousin Lance, dog. We was at the crib one time. You know how you be just talking shit. So, you know, we be having, like, game nights, but we don't try to do, like, regular games and shit. So, what we do, we do this thing called, like, describe a song. Well, give a song or album that describes the time in your life, good or bad, dog. So, if it was, like, the time, like if, if it like a song or an album that you can remember that was, like, damn, I remember that shit cause I was fucked up. Or I remember that song because I was doing good, like, mm -hmm. or this song, damn, I fucked Keisha for the first time. Too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what's a song or album that stand out to you, dog, that just remember, that you remember a time? Man, it's so many good memories, man. Because, yeah. like I said, man, I'll be... I like R&B and shit, Hell man. yeah, I love R&B, nigga. Old I'm, school music, yeah. man. I'll probably say, like, man, it's this one song, like... Fab and to me again, I think it's called. Oh, um, is that the one where um, it was Fab and to me? I'm in too. Yeah, I'm in too. Ashanti was on that bitch too. Yeah. She ended up doing like a remix, yeah, I think hell she yeah. said, but it was originally Fab and to me. Yeah, hell yeah, to me it was cool. You feel too. me? And I remember <laughs> I was in high school. Hell yeah. I remember I was in high school, <laughs> like this one chick. That shit was funny as <laughs> <laughs> uh, You was into her ass, huh? <laughs> Hey, you know who I'm talking about. I know you know her. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, no. So that's what I make you think about her. Like, damn. Motherfucker. But she wasn't even my girl because I had another girl that ended up being badder than yeah. her. Girl. But hell that no. just, that song, that's funny as hell. Dog. Hell yeah. That's song. Hell sure. yeah. Because you know why I got a song like that, dog? Remember uh, Lil Flip? He had this song called Sunshine. Oh yeah, Fuck, yeah. Like, yeah. And this is one chicken dog, you know what I'm saying? I'm married, so I can't really talk about it like that. My wife might watch the show and she'd be like, who is that? Like, so yeah, that but you be having those moments all to me. It's one CD that stand out for me, bro. And this fucking um when Boosie first got out of jail. Mm. I forgot the name of that Boosie album, dog. But I was moving back from Texas to Detroit. And I'm like, dog, what the fuck? Like I had you know, went down there with the wrong chick and shit, though. I had to come back up here and shit. And I'm thinking, like, man, this shit fucked up. I got to come back to Detroit. Like, I got to make this shit right. Mm -hmm. And the whole time, I was playing this Boosie album the whole time, man. Yeah. And so every time I hear that album, nigga, I think about that drive from motherfucking Texas to Detroit with no L's, yeah, no yeah. insurance, and uh, hey, inspired a uh, motherfucking uh, place, nigga. Look, like, hey, also some story like that. Just wanted to just elaborate on some shit like that, man. Boosie and them, you know they had that trill fam shit. Yeah. Me and my nigga Clay, we used to be in my whip, man. Just thug, you know. <laughs> Listen to that shit, that ghetto stories. Mm -hmm. and, man, that shit was a classic, man. Shout out to Boosie hey, too, Boosie. dog. They got a whole dog. movement. Webby. Webby cold. All that, bro. man. Rick they can sleep on Webby. Fat, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little fat was so talented. And I just heard that uh, Boosie and Webby about to get back into making music they again together, to. dog. I think when uh, my man Mo3 had passed away, that kind of like, you know how when niggas pass away, you be like, dog, this, this little pay little shit we got going on, hell we can squash yeah, that man. shit, dog. We homies. Much, man. You got to appreciate each other, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, for sure. So, man, talk about the deal, man, because I remember, like, around that time when y'all got the deal. Uh, T.I. wanted y'all niggas, right? Yeah. Yeah, so so how was, like, what made y'all choose Jeezy over T.I. if it was, like, choosing somebody over somebody? Like, what was the decision? Like, what was the, uh, what made y'all decide to go over there? I mean, it really won. I mean, because we had a couple deals on the floor. Like, we had Interscope, mm -hmm. like you said, Tip, and Young. And we just, like, really just... Me, personally, like, what we agreed, like, it was just because, you know, like, Ross, he got 
Meek and yeah, Wale, you know what I mean? yeah. Phil Birdman, they got them. Jeezy ain't really had nobody. He had with like he ended up getting YG. Yeah, come on, say it was the same time, right? Yeah, y'all and YG. Yeah, time. I remember he had us in the room. Hell yeah, he said some gangster shit to us. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Shout out to Young too, to um, my nigga YG. Yeah, then we just went with Young because he ain't really, you know what I'm saying? We like fuck it, and then you know Detroit loved him so Hell yeah, much. for sure. Yeah, that nigga, that's this is like his second crib. Yeah, he come to this bitch and sell out. Hell yeah, for sure. Get Every time. Hell yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah. You know, so. we give niggas a hard time, nigga. Mm -hmm. When he come to the city, Jeezy get love. He can walk that bitch nigga by himself and get love. Yeah, yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. Tip a real nigga, too, though. Oh, hell yeah, Tip hell yeah. Tip a real nigga. He solid, too. Hell yeah. Had his around the fab and everything. Yeah, hell yeah. Me? Hell yeah. So y'all sound with them, man. Like, And then I think a lot of times, dog, because... It, it, tell me if I'm wrong. A lot of times niggas be trying to blame Jeezy for things falling apart, but wasn't it Atlantic that was fucking the shit up? Not yeah, Jeezy. Yeah, Atlantic. Cause yeah. that's who we was really with, Atlantic. Yeah. That's who had cut the check. Yeah. Jeezy just took us there. You feel me? Yeah. Cause when y'all signed me, that shit was like, nigga, that shit was all over the radio. Niggas was. Yeah, before sick. niggas even knew we was already Hell at yeah. sign though. Yeah. Hell yeah. We just had to make the shit look. That's how the labels and shit work. They want everything to look big. And yeah. look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with that shit, dog. Now, you tell me if I'm wrong or right, dog, with this shit. I felt like y'all niggas got hella love on the come up. Just like everybody. You can talk about T Grizzly. You can talk about Sada. Y'all. I felt like y'all got so much love. But once y'all got that deal, that's when you get haters, nigga. Like, oh, yeah. From no, the city. Like, Boosie said. And to my Boosie, he said that shit. Like, you get hate from your, where you from. Either uh -huh. you gonna hate or you gonna get killed just yeah. from the, where you from, dog. So, like, did y'all feel that shit? Like, niggas was hating? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they killed Rock. So, yeah. I know that's how it is. Yeah, yeah. And that's what niggas be worried about. Like, damn, you don't want to be no sellout. You don't want to be like... But you there and gotta get the fuck out. You got to, though. Because niggas be hating. Because niggas be... Went to school with you, yeah, all yeah. that. Like you say, yeah. you be seeing niggas, all that. Niggas be hating. They be feeling like that supposed to be them. Yeah, yeah. Because you got that nigga who been rapping for years. Like, damn, yeah. these niggas just started. Like, I've been doing this bitch since the 90s. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so you get a lot of hate, dog. That's, that's yeah, sad, yeah. dog, that niggas yeah. be like, oh. Like, I remember T. Grizzly, dog, when he had that um, first day out. Mm -hmm. Niggas was loving him. So once he signed this deal, niggas hating on him. Like, mm -hmm. damn, that shit fucked up. It got to be like that, bro. <laughs> Man, I don't know why I'd be like that. Because it's enough money for everybody. Yeah, for sure. Back to, like I was saying, even when my grandpa and them had group, Motown, it was a hundred groups on yeah. my time. Hell yeah, for that sure. That goes to show you it's so no, much. Everybody it can get some cheese and take Hell care yeah. of their family. Or you can look at it like, damn, these niggas, they came, in, came up from the same area I'm from. Mm -hmm. I know I can get this shit now. Yeah. Like, they don't look at that shit as no motivation factor. They just look at it as like, damn, yeah. man, fuck them niggas. Yeah. Like, or... Like my man Boosie said, if your chick playing these niggas, if you, you know what I'm saying, oh, yeah, they, yeah. they going crazy out dog holes. Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't heard crazy stories about girls, like, <laughs> nigga getting their ass beat for playing our songs all Bro, type of weekend yeah. and shit. I'd be like, damn, that's how I be. Mm -hmm. Like, they look at that kid like this nigga kid think he fresh as hell. Hey, bro, think he nigga this nigga got motherfucking ice. Yeah. Like niggas be hating on the stupidest shit. Dog. Stupidest shit, everything attainable. Hell yeah. So I, I seen dog because. I always wonder this shit, bro, because I, I remember when they was on Sway, dog. It was Rock, Pay, Kid, all them niggas on, on there. I'm like, dog, where the fuck yeah. this nigga Dre at? I was on there. You was there? Yeah, I was there. Okay. But no, the reason why I said this shit, because I read a post saying that you was you were fighting for your life during that time. Like, uh -huh. right after y'all got signed. Yeah, that was right there, but that's when we was on the... Uh... On the Twenty City uh, tour, that shit was a class. Huh, Matter of fact, you Keith was on there. Yeah, I'm about to say it was somebody missing on that bitch. Keith, Keith just could get it because they was on some bullshit. Yeah. Like in New York, back again, they was on some shit like we going to the uh, I forgot the name of the building, yeah. but it's the building yeah. where they do the interview. Yeah. Like, Matter of fact. Eminem own this shit. Yeah, yeah, cause uh, Shade Forty Five. Yeah, yeah. Well, he yeah. Own that bitch. Hell yeah. So uh, it was something about he. He ain't have his ID or something. It was Damn. like some weak ass shit. Like Damn, that. nigga, you sign, you know who the nigga is, he can't come in the building. But that's what they was on. Damn. On some New York shit, you know, they corporate. Yeah. They're like, Hell oh. yeah. I'm like, damn. <laughs> you know? yeah. Wizard and bitch, that shit was a classic. Hell yeah. But without, you know what I'm saying, because I ain't no Vlad nigga, no Vlad TV yeah. nigga, but like when you were saying you were fighting for your life, dog, like how, like what was that moment nigga in life, like you was like, dog, this shit, it, it might it might be scary for me, I might be gone, mm -hmm. like I just got a deal, I'm about to miss out with my, with my, with my niggas, like how yeah. was that shit, dog, without saying too much? Man, it was just a man. I mean, it was just real shit. I ain't even nothing like that. It Cause was, it was you and Chaz, right? Yeah, yeah. Chaz, he was my co-defendant. Yeah. 
we were just blessed, man. We had the greatest attorneys, man, and yeah. everything, man. Yeah. And it was just, it was just a, it was a good and bad experience. God showed me best. Mm-hmm. Like, cause I could have, you know, been in jail. Hell yeah, man. for you sure. Feel me? I still be in that bitch. Hell yeah. Right now. So Hell yeah. It was yeah. just a blessing. Nigga yeah. was going through it. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, like that. See, little shit like that, like when somebody passed on shit like that, that could always make you just, man, fuck this music. Yeah, or yeah. it could be like, shit, I got a story to tell. Yeah, one or two, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's why I feel like niggas gotta use that shit, all that anger and all that, make some good music. Yeah, everybody, that's you express yourself. That's what for sure. Be. Hell yeah! Shout out my boy Reds, man. He just went through some shit. Hey man, I write your shit, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So dog, with that whole little with the deal and stuff, dog. Like, what you what you think went wrong, dog? Besides like the business, cause a lot of niggas from the outside be thinking like, once you get a deal, you automatically rich or you mm. automatically like set up for life. Like, what you would tell a nigga like as far as like what went wrong with that and what they can do, you know, what I'm saying to maybe fix they fix a mess up. I mean, I feel like everything. It was a great learning experience and showed niggas the business side of the shit and everything. Because it actually took niggas to a bigger level. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But I feel like it was just the, once again, just the hate. Yeah. Like, from the city, dog, just the momentum. Mm -hmm. I feel like the momentum. Because we was just going so crazy. Hell yeah. I don't want to speak too much on it, but the one incident yeah, all yeah, happened. Yeah. And that was all the same year. Like, yeah, hell yeah. I remember being at the crib, like, damn, yeah. keys in my man's box. Like, we was just on BT, yeah. MTV, like you said. We Get niggas just on there. It was going crazy. <laughs> it was going crazy. So I say just niggas yeah. got to, you can't be playing, dog. Yeah, for you sure. You got to move right. Yo, no, you, you know got to move right saying? for sure, dog. Because you be thinking like shit. You cannot, when you in another level, you cannot yeah, play move. yourself like you, because you not the same. No, you not. Bro. You got to move right. Hell yeah. You got, because niggas always, because nigga. yeah, niggas always wait for people to right. slip, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bet. They, but you thinking niggas shit, it's home. It's Love. Man, but it don't be like that. You see how niggas getting killed in they see, man, like you dog. said, the Mo three niggas. Hell yeah, Mo three. All these niggas. Man, what's they just crazy. died? King Von. He King was in the city, Von, but man. he just died though. But that's like, what I'm saying. He. That's what I'm saying. Rest in peace, King Von. Yeah. Man, that shit be nip, crazy, nip, man. Nigga, nip, nip, Nipsey. Like the low key, real talk. The reason why I started this podcast, bro, cause I felt like I was procrastinating on a lot of things. And mm. when you see somebody like that, dog, who made a big impact at a young age, bro, like with the music, with the business, with everything, like dog. I need to stop sitting on my ass and start doing this shit. Mm -hmm. Everything ain't gonna be right. I heard this nigga say that shit. Like, sometimes you just gotta start that shit, bro. Yeah, you gotta just you start. Mean, yeah, because a lot of times niggas be like, dog, that shit ain't right. Like, you said with the music, like, oh, this shit ain't good enough. Like, just put that bitch you out. You gotta just put it out. Yeah, you got you out doggos, nigga. Yeah. Like, and <laughs> for stay sure. consistent. Yeah, you got man. consistency is the best. Because you gonna start some shit and then just fall the fuck off. And I know too yeah. many niggas. Too many niggas. Me and Sugar, dog. Mm -hmm. We know too many niggas, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I call this nigga, dog. We, we say mm -hmm. we a death row podcast. Period. So, nigga, this is, instead of saying should night, this nigga Sugar good night. Period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not two pot, nigga. I'm three pack mature, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We in this bitch, we yeah. death row podcast. But <laughs> if you got some shit that you starting, dog, just keep that shit going. Yeah, you got to. You got to stay focused. Hell yeah. You're just determined, bro. Yeah. Determination, bro. Now, another thing, dog, you can tell me I'm wrong. And I've been saying this shit on, pop, on, on a lot of interviews, dog. Every time I talk about Detroit music, mm -hmm. I say that a lot of rappers now is y'all kids. <laughs> 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 like for real, I feel like before y'all, you had like you had like you said Blade Rock, you had niggas like, but I feel like y'all sound kind of started a new wave. Yeah, do definitely. You, did. Tell me if I'm wrong, right, dog? No, you right. <laughs> everybody be saying that. Man. Yeah. Everybody be saying that. People, yeah. even if they don't admit it, they know. They it. know. <laughs> like I was just listening to, like I said, go listen to my nigga Rock shit, Rock first Billboard man. Mm -hmm. He said it like. Niggas eating off our plate that we, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we supposed to do. That's what pioneers no, do. No, for sure. Hell you yeah. Feel hell me? yeah. You feel Everybody that shit. eat. It's yeah. enough. You yeah. feel me? But you got niggas that be doing that. Then they riding the young niggas way. Yeah. Like, nah. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so. Yeah, hell yeah. I just say you just do you and be yourself, man. Don't be trying to be signing like nobody else. Yeah. Because a lot of times, dog, I, I be feeling like a lot of niggas come up in the city, dog. It's kind of like a copy and paste. Yeah. Like, damn, that nigga. Just like not everybody trying to sound like Sada Baby or trying oh, to sound nigga. like <laughs> the uh, Flint niggas. Yeah, that nigga just talking about that shit, dog. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Like, this shit crazy, and I done seen it happen yeah. so many times, dog. For sure. Detroit the motherfucker. And if you I do, love dog. This bitch, dog. Yeah. 
<laughs> and it's okay to be like, dog, I, I was influenced by this person. Mm -hmm. and we all influenced by other people, dog, and, and whatever we do. If it's hooping, football, motherfucking music, singing, like you influenced by somebody and you gonna have a little bit. Pay uh, homage. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. Ain't nothing wrong with showing love. Ain't shit, dog. Because the thing that made me mad about Detroit. Like, we, yeah. like, we support each other, but it seemed like, damn, you would be. Next second, like some niggas that you don't even know all the time. We got somebody in your home. Dog. Come on, man, let us eat. Yeah. How you gonna hang on a nigga you done grew up with? Yeah, bro? for sure. That's why the South be going crazy. Hell yeah, yeah. No, the South go crazy for real. Cause they, nigga, it, nigga it, support it, each it, other, and, man. And then it will be eternal beef that you would never know about. Mm. You would never know that this nigga don't like this nigga because it's not out there for us to know. Mm -hmm. Niggas in that city, like Atlanta, for instance, niggas know in Atlanta. But niggas mm -hmm. outside of London ain't about to know what the fuck going on. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Only thing we knew about the Gucci and Jeezy is because that shit was just, you know what I'm saying? That That's was out crazy. There. I ain't never thought that would happen. That, that battle? Hell no. Dog, never thought that shit happened, bro. I remember so icy too, nigga. I'm mean, going to be like, this shit hard, cuz. <laughs> that shit hard as hell, dog. Shit, speaking of, dog, you a good nigga for this. The versus battle. Mm -hmm. I, I've been saying this shit, dog. I asked my mans. I say I would love to see a versus battle, and I see that you know, saying everything is good between y'all and um, Team Issa. I mean, I ain't gonna do too much talking, but yeah, is it we got something in the works? Hell yeah, and something in the works. Just let me be a part yeah. of it, cause <laughs> <laughs> let me just say, say uh, uh, sponsored by or some yeah. shit. Ain't even gotta be for real, dog. Put my banner up or something, dog. Yeah. I, but uh, y'all niggas got something in the works. I think they uh trying to wait to Peasy come on. I think yeah. he's supposed to come on like one this year, a couple oh, months yeah. or something. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. That'd be dope as hell, dog. Cause like I said, that'd be that's the only battle you want to see. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The only other one, my man passed away. It'd be like nigga hurt in the motherfucking blade or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like like right now, you won't want to see too many people. I mean, what stress money? Maybe tone tone something like that. That'd be a straight little battle or something. Mm -hmm. But as far as the one, I think everybody go crazy about dog. It'd be y'all and them. Yeah, man. that's the one we'll see, man. That's the one for the money, man. Oh, yeah. That shit could be sponsored by E Block Radio. Stay tuned, man. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, you can call it that. One for the money. Hell yeah, <laughs> nigga. That shit be cold, dog. That shit be cold, dog. So, shit, with that. And then, speaking of, dog, with um, Payroll and PZ dropping that album, dog, like, how important was that, dog, for the city, dog? Man, I think the city needed that, man. Because that's what they wanted, man. Because yeah. niggas was like, it was crazy. It was to a point like it was making me like, damn man, we either gonna fight or <laughs> yeah, what yeah, the fuck yeah, we gonna do? Cause yeah. it'd be crazy. Like one person don't feel right playing they song. Yeah. And it shouldn't be and like that. Fuck play with what for you real. wanna yeah. play. Yeah. You feel yeah. Yeah, so yeah, well that shit though, that that shit surprised me, but it, it was needed because you got, you know what I'm saying, Vezo, Sada, PZ, Payroll, yeah. y'all, Drake. And it's going crazy. Keith. Keith's going crazy with Vezo. Him and Vezo got I've been seeing him working. Fire and right then I seen now. uh Doughboy Clay with Vezo oh, yeah. and shit. Clay dog. got some shit out, man. Everybody. Hey, Clay's like man. the like the motherfucking Detroit version of uh What's my man from Death Row, dog? Nate Dog. Nate Dog. He's Detroit Nate Dog, Nate. man. That's what everybody said. That's funny. Dog. Dog Boy Clay is fucking Nate Dog. I was just like, man, he's so legendary, bro. Hell yeah. Legendary. How, dog, talk about, uh, talk about him, dog. Like, how y'all <laughs> fuck with him, dog? Clay, my baby. He from Kisa. Yeah. Seven miles, shit. Four life, man. <laughs> and, uh... Shit, dog. What's so crazy? Clay come from a great family. Like, yeah. Papa Joe... You know what I'm saying? His OG, they do gospel. Mm -hmm. Like, really be traveling, doing gospel. So, mm -hmm. that's where he kind of got that from. You see, you see niggas even trying to steal my nigga style with the hook yeah, and shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> but niggas know what's the, dog. you always know what that authentic shit is. Hell yeah, is, it's man. only one clay. Y'all already know what it is, dog. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. My so, shit, man. And you, I see you, you know what I'm saying? In 2019, you dropped Still High. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, no, you, you drop hot times. Yeah, hot times. In 2020, times. you dropped Still High. Yeah. Like, what, what, EP. Yeah, what you doing for, um, what you doing for 2021, dog? Man, I got some more shit I'm working on. Like yeah. I said, we got the group tape, but I got some uh, more shit I'm working on. Like I got like a couple little EPs, and I got like a couple like artists I'm working with, like mm -hmm. my cousin Feet. You feel me? Third yeah, he, 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 I see him in the yeah, EP. My nigga uh, Q. Then I got my cousin Scales, Pites, man. You feel me? Yeah. Then I got just some talented, you know, just artists, females. For sure. I do singing. Uh, who, who, on the um on the tape you had the uh, uh hot times dog. Who was the chick that singing the hook? So she got I think she got like two or three songs. Yeah, I got two of them. I got uh Martini, mm -hmm. Blazing Henny. She a beautiful. Yeah, I like her. Uh, I like her. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful artist, man. Got a nice voice. Mm -hmm. Then I got uh Lynn, Ambitious Lynn. Mm -hmm. She did that rock track for me. Yeah. Never be. 
Hell yeah. That's my baby. So that's that's some shit that you uh that that's that's the plan dog. Started like start your own little label. That's some shit that you yeah, got man. in the works. Yeah, man. Just start a little management team, man. Yeah. Like I just wanna, like I say once again, Detroit just got so many talent, man. Hell just yeah. From videographers and hell yeah, producers and singers, people play yeah. instruments, man, man. I just want to help develop artists. For sure. You think niggas be scared to fuck with us because they know about us all? Because wherever we go, I told my uh, my producer, dog, like, when we go to Detroit, we always be like, dog, this shit weird. Mm -hmm. But maybe we just different from everybody, dog. I mean, like, you we, think niggas sure, scared to fuck with us? It's like the world and then Detroit. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Nigga, that's a fact, so, nigga. That's a fact. We just different, man. We yeah. move different. Our hustle different. Our hell mentality, yeah. everything different. Hell, niggas be broke as hell, but nigga find a way to do anything, man, nigga. You gonna like, do it, man. Cause <laughs> you nigga, ain't giving up. You hell, got to. What dog, you gonna do? For sure, dog. Cause we ain't came from nothing. Man, nothing, man. You East side, west side, don't matter, nigga. Man, Detroit, we came from, from nothing. nothing. <laughs> we always, nigga, we always, nigga, on the bottom of the toe pole, but we man, come up, nigga. Nigga, come up. we went through recession. Good. We like a little good. Nigga, man. doing recession, niggas was still fresh, nigga. Like, hell yeah, dog. So shit, man. Like, like, what, what, would, like, what would be something, dog, that you would change from the start? Like, would it be the deal? Would it be what's something that you would have changed, or you would have kept everything the same? Man, to be as honest, as man, start. this just I don't know. I probably just ain't getting older, man. I would <laughs> I probably wouldn't change nothing, man. I just probably just be more focused. Yeah. On my behalf, just more yeah. focused, like loose, like I for sure wouldn't caught that case. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit. Yeah, hell yeah. But everything was just a lesson. Yeah. It was a blessing too. So. Hell yeah, all the time, all the time. Everything is a, uh -huh. everything you go through, it, you got to look at it like, damn, like, shit, if you fuck with the dumb, a dumb bitch, like, damn, that was a lesson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the next real chick I fuck with, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I fuck with this dumb bitch, now I find my motherfucking wife. Yeah. <laughs> I know what the fuck a guy did. that's how I be, man. Hell yeah, dog. So shit, man, I got this one thing I call your nigga shit versus some shit I've been through. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, when you're a young nigga, you be like, man, 17, I, mean, I ain't no pussy. Mm -hmm. When you turn 29, you all in the motherfucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, you a <laughs> so what's some shit though at uh, young age? Like it could be anything that you thought at that time that you wouldn't be doing right now. Like you say, the credit. What's some shit that some young nigga thinking versus Doe Boy Dre right now is totally different. Man, probably just more investing, man. Mm -hmm. Like just being more smart with my money. Yeah, for sure, gotta be. Cause nigga was reckless as hell. Though. What's the craziest shit you bought with your deal, cuz? That you like, damn, why the fuck I buy that shit? Man, I was just <laughs> going crazy, really. I wasn't really doing nothing. Because we wouldn't really even, it wasn't, because really, and this how it go, Lord, this is yeah. this the business. Mm -hmm. Well, this what it was. I don't know how it is. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah. You only get like 20% of your deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So much shit going And then you it. get the rest, like after you do an album and yeah. everything else. So that's why we was kind of good, because we just had got the upfront cheese. Yeah. And we got up out of our deal, because they didn't do what they supposed to do. For sure. What was in the contract that yeah. we had set up. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. So you feel me? Did y'all feel like y'all, when y'all go back on that shit, like, did y'all feel like when y'all got out that deal, like, damn, like, damn, niggas gonna think we fucked up or we failed or we... Man, no, nah, because we was ready to get up out of this, <laughs> for real, because we yeah. wasn't doing yeah. nothing. We was still just doing everything, coming out of our pocket yeah. with our own cheese. Yeah, shit, yeah. Because y'all was, like, was, like, torn. I remember y'all was torn. Like, that shit probably was, like, a commercial shit. Yeah, yeah, that was all funded independent, man. Yeah. Like, how I been. Like, before we even signed the deal, we was getting 5000 a show. Yeah. So we did need to sign the deal. Like, we just did distribution. Yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. So what, what, right now, would you be like, shit, be like, hey, man, Dre, man, trying to get you this deal, cuz. You going to say, fuck that shit, or you going to keep it I mean, right now, because they giving them bitches out. <laughs> I ain't like, lie, stimulus like, checks, nigga. I'm waiting for my shit. Right. Come <laughs> I'm like, give me a motherfucking 50 inch. <laughs> right, bro. Them bitches like stimmies around this bitch. Like, I ain't going to lie. Because the Empire are giving everybody them bitches, dog. Hell yeah. Like, I know a couple people out there in the Bay. Shout out to my niggas out there in the Bay. Yeah. What the fuck with y'all heavy? He fuck with everybody heavy in the city, though. He mm. 40, dog. Look, he's 40, Yeah, dog. 40 the coldest, man. Nigga. Hey, and he really rap like how he talks. <laughs> he a smoothest nigga. I ain't going to lie. I wasn't up on his music, dog, till later years. But that nigga seemed like just the coolest nigga to be around, Hell yeah, bro. 40 cold, man. Yeah. He definitely a gangster, man. A gentleman, man. He just a boss, bro. Yeah. Be legit. Yeah. Man, yeah. I'm making some cool dudes. Yeah. Oh, shit, go back on that, dog, before we end it. Like, 
who like who was a nigga since you been in, in, in place of how you is with with the with the group and shit like who one nigga you met like damn I met this motherfucker. Man, cause I ain't, I ain't gonna, I want to fan out with nobody. Dog. I ain't gonna lie. The only person I met, we met like I said, Tip, yeah. Gotti, Gotti, a real nigga. That nigga be all in the city too. He's being city heavy too. Hell yeah. I mean, I, uh, I ran to that nigga. I always wanted to meet Jiggy, dog. Yeah. I ain't meet Jiggy. Yeah. But um, oh and Nip. Yeah. Oh y'all met Nip? No, they met Nip. Pay. Yeah. And my brother ended up oh, yeah. meeting uh, I mean, meet him at the club. I think yeah. they was at. Uh, was at some clothing store too. Yeah, hard yeah. body. Yeah. Yeah. They was at hard body. I was mad I missed that bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because Nip was a real nigga. My brother told me that they was just all in that bitch. Just mobbing. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. I'm like, damn. I and wish he, I would have he was talking about working with Detroit niggas. He was mentioning yeah. payroll, nigga, all that shit. Hell yeah. Nip a real yeah. nigga, dog. Hell yeah. Like, Hell. I was out there in Cali, like, before he passed away. Yeah. Cause my man stay out there. I was, he was riding by. We had went to the store, and I was seeing back then, like, damn, this nigga on his hustle shit. Hell yeah, for he sure. had the fat burger right there on the corner. Yeah, the store right there. He selling t-shirts for like sixty, seventy dollars, just yeah. regular Crenshaw shirts. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, this nigga going crazy, dog. That be fucked up. We got lose niggas, dog. Man, like, some good niggas, man. Man, niggas be good niggas. There be so many hoe all, niggas. Yeah, all there, up like, for jealousy, damn, dog. Bro. All of a jealousy, dog. We gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop, gotta this stop shit. that, hey, man. man. Black on black. Twenty twenty one, man. Stop. Don't hate on the nigga. If, if, want for your brother what you want for dog, self, bro. For sure. Ask for some advice. If you gonna hate on nigga, ask for some advice. You know what I'm saying? Like if you mm -hmm. feel like nigga, you ain't in the, in the position that you want to be in. Shit, ask the nigga how he got in that bitch. Yeah. And then, 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 he might put you on game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shit, Spread man. that knowledge. Huh? Yeah, but don't be hating on a nigga. Feel you gotta take a nigga out just cause he he doing something and you mad Can't at the that, nigga. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want us to do. Hell yeah, for sure, dog. Hell yeah. Shit, man, I got this one shit, dog, called Top Three, man. I'll give you a category. You give me your top three. Mm. Top three hood movies. Oh, man, it's on me. Because, you know, I love movies. <laughs> Look, that's why I be trying to tell my girl now, like, she so young, she don't even be, I be putting her up on Bro, shit. I be, I be, she I be, be like, damn, I never seen this. I be like, damn, you never seen this? <laughs> Dog, I, I was mad my girl, she never seen motherfucking uh, Love Jones. Yeah, it, it be like, all like type of little loose yeah. movies like that. I be like, damn, you ain't never seen King in New York. Duh. Like, Hell yeah. Blow. Blow my shit. You say blow, blow, blow and uh, Shawshank Redemption, dog. See, dog, what's so crazy? I got to see you. Gonna make me go watch that shit today, dog. That's the shit, dog. That's Shawshank shit. Redemption. Hell yeah, bro. you gotta go ahead, nigga. I know you probably got fire stick, cause go ahead, pop yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and play that shit, dog. That good Wi-Fi, man. <laughs> you gotta have good Wi-Fi with that fire stick. That nigga. smart TV, man. <laughs> you got them smarts, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ain't mad? See that bitch be buffering every five seconds, like man, fuck this movie, cuz. <laughs> Trying to watch the NBA game for free and shit, nigga. Damn, man, fuck this. <laughs> but no, yeah, your top. It ain't got to be hood movies. It's top three movies, man, though. Your, your go tos. Probably, man. Damn. <laughs> I probably have to say, dog, Minutes to Society. Hell yeah, my shit, dog. Man, I love King of New York, dog. Yeah. Love that motherfucker, dog. Uh, and I love Bronx Tales. Dog. Nigga, Bronx Tales, nigga, sleep on that shit. Man, that's a classic. That, that nigga, like my girl, yeah, she yeah. like, I never see this. Duh. And I like all gangster yeah, movie, yeah. movies like that, like Duh. Blow. That, that nigga got the car at the right time. Boys in the hood, yeah, there's yeah. so many though. Like, see, like Boys in the Hood, man. Boys in the Hood kind of really represent the hood because you got like that nigga like Cuba who wasn't, he was in the hood but he wasn't he was a hood trying nigga. to do the right thing. Yeah, he was trying to go legit. And then you got the nigga playing football, but Furious he, Styles. Dog, Furious was the hardest motherfucking dog, nigga. That was the hardest name ever, nigga. Furious. Furious Styles, Styles, nigga, that's the hardest fucking name ever, dog. Man, I'm serious, like Fury Styles. Man, baby. for sure. All right, give me your uh, your top three TV shows. Man, that's a classy, dog. Me and Keish used to be, dog. It was some funny shit, dog. I just <laughs> be laughing, dog. I got funny shit on the phone, like, dog. Just like Wayne Brothers, dog. Hold on, hold on, stop real quick. This hating ass <laughs> nigga said Wayne Brothers trash, dog. Man, look, <laughs> look, look, <laughs> Wayne <laughs> Brothers, look. <laughs> That nigga said, dog. Look, we was, was, dog. Wayne's brother was classy, dog. That's Wayne's brothers, dog. Yeah. Fresh Prince. Yeah. What else we used to fuck with? And Jamie Foxx, dog. Jamie Foxx good. Hell Jamie yeah, Foxx was a Hell motherfucker, yeah. dog. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Brass them motherfucker. What? <laughs> Jamie no. Foxx was a motherfucker. Hey, he had the Astro face. <laughs> Hey, remember we had to get that bitch back, though? We got fired. Duh, that shit's that nigga, crazy. That nigga, that nigga did everything not to get them keys back, dog. Duh. Boy, that nigga working at, uh... Jingles uh, Jingle Jingle <laughs> 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 
That nigga Man, 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 man I miss that type of shit. Dog, ain't no TV shows like that no more, bro. Like, like these kids and no nothing yeah, about this shit. Dog, but I'm mad you too, nah, nigga. Wayne Brothers is a classic, dog. <laughs> yeah. That shit. Dog, I thought he was the only nigga that hated on Wayne Brothers, dog. <laughs> Damn. Martin too, dog. Martin was Martin. some shit. Oh yeah, Martin. No oh, shit. You know that was in Detroit. Hell yeah. Give me your uh give me your top three rappers, dog, ever. Man, that's a classic, bro. It's so many, bro. Yeah. Man, but I'd probably say dog for show Pac. Yeah, hell yeah. That's my nigga, dog. Mm-hmm. Pac. And probably like Jigga. Just from seeing how he just did it. Hell yeah, bro. it came from you uh, feel hustle just to a, a building. And that's nigga, why I say he in my top three. He's just his movement. Yeah, how he did. for sure. So Pac, Jigga, and probably. Man, dog. <laughs> it's always hard. <clears throat> it's a toss up, dog. She go ahead and give you a, a three and then an honorable mention then. Man, I'll probably say. And this is where I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna put him three. Yeah. He probably gonna be honorable mention. Yeah. But three, I probably say DMX, man. Dog, I fuck with nigga, sleep on X, dog. X is cold. X is my top five. Yeah, he in my top five. Yeah. And, but I probably say honorable mention is Wayne. No, oh, yeah. Wayne my top five too. Because. But Wayne be on so much weird shit, bro. <laughs> he be losing me, dog. Hey, but nigga. on the hot boy shit, that's oh, all man. he wanted to be, dog, bro. Dog, Wayne BG with the free, hot boy. BG, dog. Yeah, BG, the BGs will always be in Detroit. Juvie, yeah. dog. Dog, hot boys, dog, was my shit, dog. That's my whole introduction to rap for real was the mm. hot boys, dog. Man, and then, we love I think hot Wayne, boy. Wayne was cold all... I think after Car Three is when he, he like kind of declined. Mm -hmm. But you just love Wayne so much, you always gonna listen to that nigga mm -hmm. afterwards. Like all those mistakes, bro, the drought, mm -hmm. motherfucking. Uh, Man, all remember Squad Up, nigga? Was hell yeah. My cousin who had the bang, nigga, he was <laughs> <just> banging that <laughs> shit. Hell yeah. That's you can't sit in the back seat, and you can't even bed, breathe, nigga. nigga my nigga, me, my cousin man. had the bang, I can't even breathe in the back of that bitch, <laughs> dog. Bitch banging so hard, nigga. For real. All right, give me your uh, your top three childhood crushes. Them hoes you was loving, nigga, man, as a kid, used, nigga. Oh, man, I used to love Beyonce, bro. Man. I used to love B. My uncle, uh, my brother got mad at me, dog. I said, uh, I like what's ain't better than Beyonce. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Kelly. Yeah. yeah. Kelly is sexy, motherfucker. Hell yeah. So you got Beyonce. Man, I love Beyonce, man. I used to like, I used to, used to, used to like Keisha Cole. That's funny as hell. Keisha bro. Cole, yeah, she was bad. She still bad, like shit. I Keisha Cole. <laughs> and I'll probably say, like, Man, I like making good. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. nigga, shit, hell yeah. <laughs> Goddamn, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's always my shit, dog. Cause I got what's in my shit, though, Shanti. Oh yeah, Shanti. Oh, are you? She still, man. man I love her. <laughs> oh, you know who I was though, bro? Just like, and that's how my girl right now. She remind me. I'll be calling her Little Janet, bro. I'll be Little Duh. Janet Jackson. Bro. Hell yeah, she'd be bad, boy. Man, Janet, Janet Jackson bad, man. man. I just love her ass Ooh. on everything, nigga. Like, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Neil Long. Hell yeah. Look, he like Neil Long. Neil Long, my sure. favorite, dog. I'm, I'm, nigga, my wife might have a hell, a hell of a time with me, dog. Neil Long <laughs> popping my life. Like, like, hey, uh, damn. Hey, you know it's Neil Long, right? Like, <laughs> all right, man. It's Neil, man. Yeah, the last one, dog. Top three fools. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When you high and shit, yo, high fools. Man, I love food, bro. Like I said, <laughs> last year was a challenging year because I changed my diet. And yeah. But what I always love, man, I just love, man. I love spaghetti, man. Oh, hell yeah. I love fried rice. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Teriyaki. <laughs> See, I love and that probably, shit. Probably. I like shrimp more than fish. Yeah, I fuck some shrimp over, nigga. Like you that's my that's I my shit. Shrimp. I can eat that bitch. But good fish, I love good fish when it's you gotta have it hot. Yeah, my wasn't put me on a uh, fresh fish house, dog. My grandma. Uh, oh, uh, hey, my still ain't nigga, trying. Wyoming, it, nigga, Wyoming, nigga, go that bitch, cause you go, <laughs> you might spend a honey on that motherfucker. <laughs> For real, so you get that she orange roughy. What? You get the motherfucking shrimp, nigga. Get the front man. Come oh, on, yeah, come on, dog. Out. Come on, bro. We. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go check them out. Man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to Fresh Fish House. My my uh, my my grandma lost stay right over there in that area oh, on yeah. uh, on Semi, uh, Kentucky. Oh, 
Okay. That's yeah, why I, I be killing me, bro. I be in that bitch GPS in the West Side, dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, damn. Over there by that KFC. Like, I know yep, yep, right by right there and shit. She yeah. say right down the street. Like, right yeah. across the street. I be in that motherfucker sometimes. I'm like, dog, I'm really living on the West Side. Like, yeah. I never thought this shit would happen. <laughs> That's <how it's> crazy. <laughs> like, I'm right around the corner, dog, yeah. for real. But yeah, go, go to that shit, dog. Order some food, dog. And yeah. you gonna be like, dog, you, you the truth for telling me about that shit. Hell yeah. All right. Now, last thing we ended off, dog, a funny story, man. A drunk moment, a hot moment, or both. Man, man, we got so many classes, bro. <laughs> like my man Scooch, dog. Shout out to my baby Scooch, dog. Yeah. And his old dude, nigga, on the bar, dog. Yeah. This is like the only job, like, dog, we worked at that bitch, dog. That's when I first started drinking, dog. I had to be like. <laughs> Maybe 18, bro. Yeah, I thought you were about to say 8 for me. Like, damn, good. <laughs> no, no, hell no. Look, you about to say, like, damn, hey, what's so crazy? I wonder if it's kids these days, bro. Man, hell yeah, up, man. You already know. But it's like 18, though. We was getting fucked up in that bitch. Mm hmm. But we was just had so many, cl man, so many classics. But every man. time that you was like, nigga, just don't remember, nigga. You man, it be a lot of times, man. I be getting too fucked up, bro. <laughs> but, man. Probably like, I don't know, man. Probably a couple times, like when we went to Miami, like one time, like when we got to deal with Jeezy, that was a classic, bro. Yeah. Like my man's main dog, this nigga fell asleep in the wrong hotel, <laughs> man. Came to our hotel in the morning, <laughs> like, man, what tip you on? <laughs> Hell no. Man, it was so many classics, bro. Man, I think my worst one dog probably had to be St. Andrews, dog. You say St. Andrews? Yeah, because my boy about to go to jail, dog. I mean, I was drinking Hennessy. I was drinking motherfucking, what's that wine, Moscato. Oh, yeah. I smoked some weed and I don't smoke. I hit the black and mild. Oh, yeah. Nigga, I was in there. Too much shit. <laughs> nigga, too I wanted to, nigga, got a little bit of throw up on his bitch shoes, nigga. Oh, I got yeah. The, oh, man. I, I got the, had, nigga, oh, yeah. drunk running that bitch, nigga. When you think you're running fast, but I you really walking. I think that's the first time I got drunk, too. Like, like Drew. Oh. See, and what's so crazy, I down there alive. Me in ninth grade, and then my nigga head. Free my cousin L Cash, nigga, my nigga Green, dog. Yeah. Nigga, it was my cousin. They went to Murray Wright. Yeah. They had the room at the Athenium. Yeah. My cousin had the uh, the uh, the sink full with ice with just liquor, yeah. all type of shit, <laughs> man. Man, I got so fucked up. Man. That's like the first time I ever got fucked up. Dog, what's the first drink you ever had, dog? That you remember? I don't, it was probably some bullshit. Like, <laughs> my OG used to be drinking like absolute vodka. I used to be like stealing her shit. No, the first thing I had though was uh, me and my cousin talking about this shit, dog. Seagram Gin 102. Yeah, some good. So, nigga, we be going downtown. We on the east side, so we ain't that far. So, I get orange juice. I drink that bitch about that much. Fill that bitch with the motherfucking 102. Mm. Nigga be gone. No. It be, it be, hey, that's how a girl was. So I'm put that uh, poetic justice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That bitch <laughs> Chicago and that bitch brushing the weekend yeah. ways. <laughs> dog, you and that motherfucking gone. I remember, nigga, I had to save my dog, uh, my dog Rez, dog. This nigga got so drunk over that shit, he grabbed this girl pussy. <laughs> like, oh, nigga, yeah. just you know, for a couple of minutes. He also Donald Trump shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he grabbed the motherfucking pussy. So I'm mean, in that bitch apologizing for this nigga. Like, he fucked up. I'm sorry. And then with the weed, I, nigga, I, I salute y'all niggas who can smoke. Because mm -hmm. I can't, nigga, because I be so high, nigga. <laughs> All right, this nigga, dope boy, drink, think I'm high. And yeah. you ain't saying a damn thing, but I'm reading your mind, nigga, because yeah. I'm so fucked up. Yeah. Like, nigga. <laughs> and the edibles, nigga, my four year old about to ride me, nigga. That's how fucked up I was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> edibles, niggas be like, blowed off them Eddies. Dog, nigga. I can't I, fuck with them Eddies. Nigga, that shit had my fucking. My fuck man's in. got an edible company, though, all in the bay, though. Gas or gummies. I'm man. bring you some of them bitches next time. I'm about to be, I'm fucking be in a safe area, dog. They like some little, <laughs> they like some candy slices. Yeah, because that shit had my feet high. Like, damn, how my feet high, nigga? Like, everything was high on me, dog. Yeah. For sure. But shit, man, I appreciate you coming on the show, oh, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Like, man, you ain't you ain't spin me. A lot of niggas be giving me a spin the rule. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna put no names out there, but I got to spin the rule and shit. Man, but, I had to come do it, man. But shit, man, if it's like some shit, dog, we always end this shit off with some last sentiments, dog. Like, some words, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't do drugs, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> Don't drink it dry. What's some, some shit you want to end the people off with, dog? Stop. Man, sure. right, like my man said, man, just stop the violence, man. So much going on. Hell yeah. It's 2021, man. Everybody should be just focused. Hell yeah. Just trying to prosper, man. Live a healthy lifestyle, man. Get mm -hmm. your mind right. Get your paper right, man. Take care of your family. For sure, man. And shit, man, you already know, but where, where can you find you at on, on social media, dog? Man, you know, uh, really, I only got, uh, I'm going to try to get my Twitter back. Yeah. But, uh. 
I'm on Instagram, Doughboy underscore Dre. Yeah. Hit me up on there, all business. For sure. Go check out my music, you know, like you said, high time, still high. Yeah. Not guilty on all platforms. Go stream them. For sure, for sure, man. If I got any people with something, man, I'm going to say, um, shit, man, if you're going to dog one hoe, dog all them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I dog hoes, nigga. Hey, look, 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 look. Hey, yeah, we dogging hoes, man. <laughs> But you gotta look. You get a good girl, man. You gotta oh, yeah. keep her too, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause there's some bosses out here too, Hell, man. Yeah, so yeah. So once you get no fool. Once you done dogging them hoes, dog, you get that. You find like damn, shit, shit, one. Shit, go ahead and marry her, dog. Oh yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, that's ain't nothing some wrong. bossy shit. Hey man, I got married this uh, last year. Dog. Oh, congratulations, Hell, man. Yeah, man. I never that's thought some that boss shit. shit. I, I want to do that. Happen. I want to play that role. Hell yeah, man. Never thought that shit happened, but it happened. She locked that's my ass up, cause. But when you know you got a motherfucker, you got that one. I mean, ain't no point in bullshit. We we did our our motherfucking bullshit in the early mm-hmm. 20s and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. Shit, time to change that shit up, dog. Yeah, and I got kids, so I can't be having them see me and this bitch, man, being a dirtbag all my yeah, life and no. shit. <laughs> so I got to go ahead and be a good man. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, man, appreciate you coming, dog. Oh, yeah, show my nigga. You know what I'm saying, man? You know all love, man. If you, you want to tell the rest saying? of the niggas to come on show, man, tell them come oh, yeah, on I'm through, tell nigga. Everybody, come on, See, man. I know you, when you asked me. You know the mind oh, yeah, by love. Hey, I told my producer real quick when you was like, dog. Yeah, that shit go grab new merch on by love. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. When you say like, dog, this a crib. A lot of niggas don't want to come to it because it's a crib. But when you come downstairs, hey, what's so crazy? You know, I do my research. I be on my shit. That's why I ask you, like, man, where this shit by? Hey, I try to make it something. <laughs> no, I'm like, that's, that's why, all love, though. Yeah, that's why I had to see your video and show, like, yeah, we we really do this shit. Cause sometimes shit, niggas, it's Detroit. You could be in a, run to a setup, dog. You mm. never know, dog. So shit. But no, we legit over here. Hey, y'all come through. We good for sure. Hell yeah, but shit, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Holla, y'all boys. Yeah.